Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What is the importance of marriage if two person tries to follow the way of Islam? What if these two person cannot feel close to Allah, cannot feel the oneness when they are together because of being a different because of being in different frequencies? What should they do? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Marriage is very important in Islam. Marriage is what? Prophet Wasallam said, it is what? Half of your faith. If you're not married, you only have half. There is no um, celibacy in Islam. No monkery in Islam. Monkey, monkery in Islam. Okay? That they are, mashallah, they are so celibate. So clean, so celibate. Everything there. It is important because we are humans too. Hmm? And once you are uh, married now, you will start to understand and carry the burden more of being a human. If you're not married, you're so free, right? <laughs> huh? It's so free, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Once you're married, oh, you're carrying the burden now. Ha ha. For the men, it is the burden of what? Of a family that is like a country. Now you have to take care, now you have responsibility. For the woman now, you have the burden of what? Of quote unquote creation. Huh? Allah given the secret of creation in you. Now it's not just to give birth, it is to raise them, her children. So now the man becomes, goes to higher stations as a human being, not just stuck at bachelorhood. He enters into several other stations to understand what it is to be a man, to be a human, entering into fatherhood, all of that. And the woman too, entering into this um, uh, entering into the stage where the things that are happening to you will must increase your faith. Things that are happening to you must increase your faith. So these two uh, things, these two people, marriage must happen. Inshallah, everyone will get married. So, you, as you're saying, if two people try to follow the way of Islam, but they cannot feel close to Allah. Uh, meaning, if two people, they cannot get along together. <laughs> what should you do? Get along with Allah first. Okay? Don't try to get along with each other. Get along with Allah first. And... Fulfill your responsibilities. You must first do that. Then later other things will start to change, to shift. Because your primary responsibility is to Allah and His Prophet. But in these days, so many marriages end in divorce. Why? Because people have different ideas about what marriage is. Number one, especially in the West, marriage is... Um, fairy tale wedding fairy tale and you want the rest of your life to be like that fairy tale hmm? wonderful honeymoon so when reality sinks in a little bit up oh, they leave it's all love it's all a high once that high is gone you say i don't want this this is not real you saying, thinking that the high is real so they divorce go to another high finish and go to another high it's an addiction now you're not dealing with that reality. So the whole idea of marriage has to first change. Marriage in Islam, like I said, it is half of your faith. Marriage must increase your faith. You can increase your faith, you can complete your faith, marriage. It doesn't mean that everything has to be great for that faith to increase. So many times, the marriage, if it's not so good, it, that increases your faith. If things cannot uh, work out so well, that increases your faith because now you're relying on Allah more than each other. Because people now, once they fall in love, they marry each other, they start what? Worshipping each other. Isn't it? 
but we are not objects of worship, we are not Allah, so definitely we are going to disappoint each other one day. And so, now then you have to understand what is the responsibility according to Allah and His Prophet, what are the responsibilities of a husband and what are the responsibilities of a wife according to Allah and His Prophet, not according to talk shows or books right, or magazines or songs, you understand? According to Allah and His Prophet And we have 1400 years of history to show how a marriage in Islam should be. Some things will be ab against your ego. Yes, of course. What? We're here to please our ego. If you understand that, what a husband must do, what a wife must do, and you're going to try to be busy doing that, then that time you'll fall under the same frequency. You will, you must. But the most important thing, especially in these days, is to find a share. Because you think that you have the same frequency, da, 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 but if there is no uh, shah, if there is no leader there, if there is no doctor there, then it's very difficult for people in these days, because everything is against this holy institution of marriage, and so many difficulties may come. And it's only a matter of time that they start to split because the shah is there as a cement. That both of them, they follow somebody that they can go to, to ask for advice and everything. And the shah will be there to put certain boundaries to each other, to respect each other, so that they can stay in the marriage. Sometimes it's impossible, sometimes it's very difficult. People, they want to leave. Then that's a different story. But at least when the shah is there, the thing is to bring them together. All of the problems so many times is not real, is not important, is not important. And you need someone with authority and someone with wisdom to be able to point it out and to bring them together. So, yes, the shah is there for so many reasons. Inshallah, may it be easy. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I find hard to keep my intention still when I start doing a certain plan. Suddenly I find that the tools are becoming my aims. After a time I remind my intention to myself, but along the way I lose it. What do you advise? Remind yourself again. Remind yourself again and again and again and be around a jamaat that is going to remind you. Don't be alone. In these days, these are very heavy days. If you're out from the flock, the wolves, they're going to get you. And in these days, for so many years now, they teach people to be individualistic, to be alienated, to be alone, not to be in a jamaat, not to be in a flock. They say flock, flock means you're stupid. Flock means you have hurt mentality. Flock means you have no mind. Everywhere, from TV to everything, is saying to you, don't be. You are individual. You are... You know nothing. <laughs> you have to be in a jamaat. Once you're in a jamaat, you're in an association, you pull yourself away, there are others who prop you back. You push forward a little bit, there are others from in front who's going to straighten you up. So there are always reminders there. <coughs> so that's the time now to get yourself out from your head, because this is a very head question also. You have an intention, you want to do a plan, but after a while uh, you lose your intentions and you're just trying to so much keep your intention that it's not about the intention is about keeping the intention. <laughs> That's the time you say, okay, okay, forget about it. Let's do something else. You understand? Because now your ego is making you to chase your own tail. 
chasing, chasing, that's the time to say, you know what, stop. Let's do something else. You're able to do that if you're in a dargah. You're able to do that if you come to a dargah once in a while. You're able to do that if you are with a jamaat. You're able to do that when you're in connection with a jamaat. Because so many times too, questions that we have, it seems so important to us, but later, one year later, we realize that question was so silly, it wasn't important. But at that moment, it becomes really crucial. What is making us to think that it's really crucial? It is the ego. The ego is always saying, what? Now is the only time. It's the be-all, the end-all. It's the most important thing. It's not looking to the future. So, be with people who are going to remind you. Be with the Ahli Zikr. Inshallah, may it be easy for you. Assalamu alaikum. Tamam. Bashka. You have drinks? Drink. Afiaros. May it be easy, inshallah. If there's anything useful that is coming from our share, take it. Put it in your lives. You'll win for yourself. May Allah forgive me and bless you, Al Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum.